Yo, what is up, to It's your boy Beast Mode, and today we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to get Twine Peaks in 24 hours. Um, you don't have to do any quest to get the Twine Peaks in this, but uh, I don't think it works in Stonewood, but it does work in Plankerton. So if you're in Stonewood, then you're just gonna have to grind in Plankerton and then do it, bro. But uh, yeah, um, this is how you get Twine Peaks in 24 hours. Um, it's gonna be a short intro because I don't really have anything to talk about, but Remember, I am doing a uh, giveaway for these Lego Season uh, sh streams every day. And um, yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. And it's being a little beast mode. Let's get right into the video. Alright. So, I'm going to tell you straight up. I didn't grind my missions to get the twine. So, you see here, my twine peaks is unlocked. But I'm only power level 61. And I can't get any twine peaks until I'm power level 70. But look at this. Page 10 of Plankerton. I haven't done these missions. I haven't done these missions, these missions, these missions. But when I go to Candy, look, I've done all of these. All these missions. So I'm on page 10. I haven't done these missions. But I haven't done any of these. But I am in Twine Peaks. So. So you see that I'm on page. 15 of Canny, 15 of Canny, page 15, and there's a, uh, what, there's one more Storm Shield, right? Storm Shield 6, that I haven't got to yet. But, when I go into my Canny base, I'm either gonna have to place an amplifier, or I can go ahead and start it, and that'll be Storm Shield 6. I've already done Storm Shield 6, you see, look, you see right there, shield power level. Level 6 out of 10. I've already done 6, but I haven't done the mission to get to 6. That's how I'm in Twine Peaks. But I, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, you don't have to have any, like, you don't have to do it. It's not a glitch. It's it's in the game. And they know it's in the game. It's not a glitch or anything. It's not like a glitch that's going to get patched, you know. It's in the game. They, Epic knows it's in the Save the World. They know it's in the game. And yeah, they they know. But if unfortunately you can't do it in Stonewood, that's about you. if you're in Stonewood, you're out of luck. I'm sorry. Wish I knew a way to just pass your Stonewood, but Stonewood's not that hard, so you should be able to get it. It's only like eight pages. Like I done, I done 17 pages in one day. Like literally, I did Plankerton like five pages. Then I went to Candy, did 15 pages. But if you're in Stonewood, you should be able to go ahead and get that. You don't have to skip your missions. But yeah. But yeah, they know what's in the game, so. Don't worry about it getting patched. If you're not seeing this video right away, don't worry about it getting patched. Alright. You know the drill. We're ready to expand again. Alright, so. When you're ready to start the fight, select Expand oh, Shield from the Storm Shield console. Alright, so look at this. Look at this. One, two, three, six. Look at that. Look at that storm shield power level. It's look at that bars. It's six bars out of ten, right? So that means I've already done six storm shields. I've already done six storm shields. I have Amplifier C. Amplifier C. B, A, A, and D. But I've only done, I'm not even on the last storm shield. But I've already done it. So, this is how you do it, guys. Alright, so, if I can't really show y'all, because I've already done it, but if, say you're like on storm shield 5, 4, say you're on storm shield 4 and haven't done the mission to get to 5, you're just gonna go here, and if it doesn't, if it, the expand shield is gray, you can't press it. You're gonna go out, go to one of your amplifiers. Here, hold on. Let me go to my amplifier real quick. Nope. You're gonna, so see, this is not here. It's gonna be like light blue. You're gonna go here, hold square, hold square, go back to your storm shield, right. and it should be, be able to click it. Now, if you're in Stonewood, this is not gonna work, but if you're in Blankerton, it will work. Alright, so when you do that, you'll be just going to go here and press it, you know? 
and uh that's pretty much how you get into it but um it's in don't worry about it getting patched don't worry about doing it quick because it's not going to get patched um epic knows it's in the game for a reason they haven't patched it it's been out for a very long time and uh like i said like I said in the beginning of the video, stay at it for the streams. I'm gonna be giving like a lot of these away. The 130 uh, Legacy Jackos, and uh, I am gonna be giving this to a special winner. To this, to a special winner. Eight roll Siege Breaker. So if you're seeing this video, like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and put hashtag eight rolls in the chat, and I will pick a lucky person out of the comments to get this eight roll siege breaker double energy crit chance crit chance crit chance crit damage crit damage crit damage double energy i will be picking a lucky winner to get it so like i said put it out in the comments uh hashtag eight rolls and you might be one of the lucky winners but like i said um that's how you get into flying peaks in less than 24 hours but if you're in stonewood i'm sorry you just gonna have to grind that out but if you're in Pinkerton, you might as well just skip your missions, dude. But if you're not a high enough power level getting candy yet, you might as well not do it because it's useless. You won't even be able to get candy, even if you skip your missions. But if you have a lot of survivor XP, upgrade your survivors, skip your missions. That's what I did, bro. But um, like I said, that's how you do it, less than 24 hours. And uh, I hope you enjoy, and I hope it helps you out. And uh, it's been your boy, Beast, and I'm out.